in the vast expanse of existence, where galaxies swirl in cosmic dances, and time flows like an ever-rushing river, there exists a love that transcends all understanding, a love that spans the depths of eternity and touches the heart of mortals with divine grace. This love, ineffable and infinite, finds its embodiment in the person of Jesus Christ, whose life, teachings and sacrifice resonate through the annals of history and echo in the chambers of the human soul. To grasp the depth of Jesus' love is to embark on a journey of spiritual discovery, a pilgrimage of the heart that leads us through the corridors of faith and into the embrace of divine compassion. It is a journey marked by moments of revelation and illumination as the layers of doubt and disbelief are peeled away to reveal the radiant truth that lies at the core of our being. Yes, Jesus loves me. But what does this love entail? How does it manifest in our lives? And what implication does it hold for our understanding of God and humanity? To explore this question is to dwell into the heart of Christian theology, where concepts such as redemption, reconciliation, and restoration find their fullest expression in the person of Jesus Christ. At the heart of Jesus' message is the profound truth that God is love, a love that seeks out the lost, heals the broken, and restores the fallen. This love is not a distant abstraction or a theoretical construct, but a living reality, a force of transformation that reaches into the depths of human experience and touches the very essence of who we are. Throughout this ministry, Jesus demonstrated this love in world and deed, reaching out to the marginalized, befriending the outcast and offering hope to the despairing. In his teachings, he spoke of a God who cares for the sparrows of the field and numbers the hair on your heads, a God whose love knows no bounds and whose mercy endures forever. But perhaps the most profound expression of Jesus' love is found in sacrificial death on the cross, a death that paradoxically becomes the ultimate triumph of love over sin and death. In laying down his life for the sake of humanity, Jesus reveals the depth of God's love and the extent to which he is willing to go to reconcile us to himself. The Apostle Paul captures his truth eloquently in his letter to the Romans where he writes, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 to 8. Here in the mystery of the cross, we encounter the unfathomable depths of God's love. A love that is willing to suffer and die for the sake of the beloved. But the story does not end there. For the cross is not the final word. Three days later, Jesus rises from the dead, conquering sin and death and ushering in a new era of hope and redemption. In his resurrection, we see the power of love to overcome even the greatest of obstacles and to bring new life out of death. This message of hope and resurrection lies at the heart of the Christian faith, offering comfort to the grieving, strength to the weary, and assurance to doubting. It is a message that speaks to the deepest longings of the human heart, the longing for meaning, for belonging, and for a love that never fails. And yet, for all its power and beauty, this message can be difficult for, to fully grasp. In a world marked by suffering and injustice where pain and sorrow are ever-present companions, it can be hard to believe in a love that transcends all understanding, a love that can heal the brokenness of our world and bring redemption to the most hopeless of situations. 
And yet, it is precisely in the midst of our brokenness that the love of Jesus shines most brightly. For it is in our weakness that His strength is made perfect. And it is in our pain that His love is most deeply felt. As the Apostle Paul writes, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38-39 in these words we find both comfort and challenge. A challenge to believe in a love that surpasses all understanding and a comfort in knowing that no matter what trails we may face, we are held fast in the embrace of a love that will never let us go. But how are we to respond to this love? What does it mean for us to be recipients of such grace and mercy? Here too, the message of Jesus offers guidance and direction, calling us to lives of faith, obedience, and service. In his famous parable of the Good Samaritan, Jesus teaches us that love is not merely a sentiment or a feeling, but a concrete action. A willingness to reach out to those in need, to bind up the wounds of the broken and to show mercy to the marginalized in the words of the Apostle John. This is how we know what love is Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our life for our brothers and sisters. 1 John 3-16 to But such love is not easy. It requires us to step out of our comfort zones to confront our own prejudice and biases and to embrace the other with open arms and open hearts. It requires us to be willing to sacrifice our own desires and ambitions for the sake of the greater good and to see justice and mercy in all our dealings with others. And yet, as daunting as this task may seem, we do not undertake it alone for we are surrounded by a cloud of witness. The saints and martyrs who have gone before us, whose lives bear witness to the transformative power of God's love and whose examples inspire us to greater acts of compassion and courage, in their footsteps we walk the path of displeasure following Jesus wherever he may lead and seeking to embody his love in all that we say and do. And as we do so, we become bearers of the light, a light that shines in the darkness, illuminating the way for all who are lost and pointing them towards the source of all love and life. Yes, Jesus loves me. This simple yet profound truth lies at the heart of the Christian faith, offering hope and comfort to all who dare to believe. It is a love that knows no bounds, that reaches to the ends of the earth and beyond, and that beckons us to join in the great dance of redemption and renewal. May we, like that Apostle Paul, be able to declare with confidence I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38-39 and may this love which surpasses all understanding be the guiding light of our lives now and forevermore. Amen.